Hello and welcome to the Dataman 8700 Quick Start video. This video will show what to expect when unboxing a Dataman 8700, including how to set up the hardware and connect to the reader using the Dataman setup tool. The Dataman 8700 has a variety of options to choose from. Before setting up your new Dataman 8700, check which model you have purchased because some of the supplies and steps might differ. The Bluetooth options come with a Bluetooth handheld reader, a base station, and a rechargeable battery. Whereas the box for a corded Dataman 8700 comes with just the corded handheld reader. Some models will also come with a 5.5 volt external power supply. This is included with some DX models, which require an additional power source. It is also recommended to be used with DQ and LX models, but in those cases, it needs to be purchased separately. To set up your new Dataman 8700, you will also need a computer with access to the Dataman setup tool, the correct cable for your model, and your model's respective power supply. This video utilizes an Ethernet model, which requires a PoE injector and a USB model which gets its power from the computer. Depending on your Dataman 8700 model, additional or different equipment may be necessary. For example, the Ethernet model also needs a double-ended Ethernet cable. Refer to the Cognix Partner Portal to make sure you have everything you need. This video will first demonstrate how to connect a Bluetooth reader and then how to connect a corded reader. The first step when connecting a Bluetooth reader is to connect to the base station. On the bottom of the base station, lift the latch to open the port. Plug the model's respective cable into the port, and then close the latch to secure the cable. Plug the other end of the cable into the power supply. In this case, the Ethernet cable is being plugged into the out port of the PoE injector. A double-ended Ethernet cable is used to connect the PoE injector's in port to the computer. Next, insert the battery. Pull out the tab on the bottom of the reader to open the end cap and place the battery inside. Close the end cap by pressing the tab. Finally, place your handheld reader into the base station. The LEDs around the head of the reader will turn on, and when they are green, the Dataman 8700 is ready. When prompted on the reader's LED screen, click Yes to pair the reader with the base station. To connect a corded reader, start by plugging the cable into the base of the handheld reader. Use a small object like a pencil or Allen wrench to hold down the tab and then turn the mechanism counterclockwise. This is the open position. Insert the cable and then secure it in place by turning the mechanism clockwise into the lock position. Next, take the other end of the cable and plug it into the power supply. In this case, the USB cable is plugged directly into the computer. If you are using a 5.5 volt external power supply, plug it into the barrel connector on the cable. Once the LEDs around the head of the reader are on, the Dataman 8700 is ready. The setup process can now be completed in the Dataman setup tool. If you have not already downloaded the software, refer to the Dataman setup tool install video for instructions. In the Dataman Setup tool, all the readers on your network will be listed with information about their network settings and firmware. Connect to your reader by double-clicking it in the list. To capture a reading of a code, the reader can be triggered by clicking the trigger button in the top left of the software, or by physically holding down the trigger on the reader. Results will be listed in the Results History pane in the lower right corner. If a code is not read, try checking the reader's Symbology settings. The symbology settings can be changed in the Code Details application step. Confirm your desired code symbology type is selected. This concludes the quick start setup process. For more information, check out the other videos in the Dataman 8700 setup and troubleshooting series. Thank you for watching.